Hey everybody, it's Bob LPs. Welcome back to some more Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. In the last episode, we finished the entire world of Hollow Bastion. And now we've only got one more world left, the 100 Acre Wood. But before we actually take that on, let's see what we gotta do in Castle Oblivion itself. Guess he must have finally got tired of fighting with you. I sure hope so. Yeah, because if he's not done fighting with us, we're going to have to keep kicking his butt. Careful, you never know where Riku might be hiding. Yeah, you never know. He's using the powers of darkness right now. Maybe Riku doesn't want to fight with you anymore. Wow, way to be repetitive, Goofy. You said the exact same thing you said in the cutscene. Good job. Tent floor, coming up. So what's going on, Vexen? Your Riku was supposed to counter Sora. What's he waiting for? Where is he? He's hiding somewhere to lure Sora deeper into the castle, right? I suppose we should just leave it at that, you know. Aha! Oh, I see now. I would have never guessed that. So sorry, Vexen. Silence! Predictable response. Forget it. Men without hearts are so boring. You're one to talk. As if you have such a heart to speak of yourself. That's enough. Lucia. Vexen, the simple fact is that your project was a failure. You'd best not disappoint us again. Disappoint you? You go too far! In this organization, you're number 11. I'm number 4 and I will not have you! I've been entrusted this castle and nominee by our leader. Defying me will be seen as treason against the organization. Traitors are eliminated. I believe that's what the rules say. Who needs a half-baked good-for-nothing anyway? <gasps> Vexen, you cannot win against Sora. Pity to be so ignorant. As you're only able to see the surface of things, I should not expect you to appreciate my true might. Oh? Then let us watch as you prove it. What? None of us wish to be suspicious of a comrade. Your insincerity is comforting. You give a challenge like that to Vexen and he'll... seriously want to eliminate Sora. That would be an unfortunate denouement. What to do? Your hero is soon to be wiped from existence. But I believe there is a certain promise that he made you. Isn't that right, Namine? Yes. And that must mean we've lost ten whole floors worth of our memories. Sora, it's still not too late. Don't you think we should turn back? Can't do it. Because that would break an old promise that I made. An old promise? What would that be? On the islands, I promised Namine that I'd keep her safe, no matter what. But... I forgot it. I didn't remember until I started forgetting everything else. A promise between the two of us. That's why... I can't leave. Now that I remember the promise, I have to keep it. Of course. We understand, Sorrow.
Yeah, you better understand, Jiminy, otherwise you get no access to the hood anymore. How you like that? Anyway, special promises like yours are meant to be kept. Aww, Donald's sympathetic. If you remember your promise to nominate, then you still must have your important memories. That doesn't mean much at all, Goofy, but anyway. <laughs> Tenth floor. One more world that we've got left. Will we get any more worlds like we did last time on the sixth floor and we got an extra four? Who knows? But anyway, let's take on the Hundred Acre Wood. Now, this is probably going to be a bit of a long episode. So for those of you that like long episodes, here you go. Because Hundred Acre Wood is not something I want to split up into multiple parts. I'd rather be like the first LP and do all of it in one go. Because it's nothing but mini games. There's no actual story. It's not like it's set up like the other worlds where you have a key of something, key of something else, key of something else. You just go through the entire Hundred Acre Wood in one strip. What's wrong, little fella? I'm looking for my friends. Are they around here? It looks like nobody's here. Oh, then perhaps I'm looking for nobody. I then. You're looking for nobody? I suppose I must be, but they don't seem to be anywhere. Oh, here we go with the confusion. And all this searching is making my tummy rumble. Hmm, I wonder if there's any honey about. Oh, but if I stop to eat, I shall first have to stop searching. Why don't we look for your friends together? For nobody you mean? No, for your friends. They might be around here. Let's find them together. Oh, are you looking for my friends too? No, but I'm looking for some friends of my own. Are they friends who know my friends? I'm not sure, Pooh. <gasps> remembers who of everyone in the game the only one he remembers is Winnie the Pooh are you kidding me but I know what it's like to miss your friend so why don't we go look for them together wow I like that so he remembers us this is the only time in the game that everyone remembers each other besides Traverse Town! Like, uh, The last time I played through the game, I was like, okay, they must have said their names to each other before they got to that point and I just skipped it, but now I'm sure, no! They remember each other! It's so messed up! Huh? <laughs> I don't know what to do anymore. Sora and Pooh are the only ones in the game that remember each other through all, all the different worlds. Traverse Town doesn't count because that was the first one. But, wow. All right, now with Piglet, you just got away from the stop running out of the bushes, hit triangle and poof. Oh, oh no, oh dear, don't mind me. You're not Pooh's friend? Oh, well, I, uh, um, I mean, I'm not not Pooh's friend. I'm... Okay, well, Sora and Pooh had the biggest bond ever. If they remember each other, but no one else remembers Sora, and Sora doesn't remember anyone else. Oh, my God, the connection is too strong between the two most random characters. <laughs> Oh, it's you, Pooh. I'm so relieved. I finally found someone. I got separated from the others, and I was so worried. I didn't know what to do. That explains why you're so fidgety. Piglet, why don't you come with us to look for the rest of our friends? What? Oh my, I don't know. Oh, what should I do? Guess he doesn't want to come. Wait, please. Have you decided to join us, Piglet? Well, no, I'm still thinking, but before you got here, I found something strange in the shrubs. I thought it might help you to find everyone else. Sora learns confused, as if we didn't learn that somewhere else in the game. Okay, temporarily confused the enemy so they attack less often. Genie, Tinkerbell, and any other summon card. 
something I'm never gonna use because I don't use summons. But anyway, that is the point of the 100 Acre Wood. Basically, all you can do is... Wow, I, I completely forgot that this is the one area that's different from the rest of the game. Press triangle, you actually go in a room. It's so weird, but anyway. Uh, two Kingdom Key, are you serious? And break all this, you get Moogle points. Oh, and they actually changed the font. I completely forgot about that. There's, this world is unique in a few ways. One is nothing but mini games. Two, Pooh remembers you. Three, the font changes. And four, you actually get stuff after all the different mini games. Oh, and five, you uh, don't have any cards to use. Well, I won't go that far. There's no map cards to use. There I go. There I go. Now I got the right terminology. All right, fire, fire, fire. Give me something good. Give me something good. Three. Well, at least hitting all this is giving me a lot of Moogle points. Anything? Nope. Jeez. All right. This is, this is working. I like this. That might be an easy way to grind for uh, Moogle points. Just keep doing this over and over again. All right, now this is not like Kingdom Hearts 1. There's way different mini games, and for what it's worth, I like these more. Watch out! You can sit here forever. The amount of rolling space is never gonna change. But as soon as you press X, boom! <laughs> Freaking poo. Like, oh, ran over my pumpkin. That was close. Are you okay, poo? You almost pulled a Brian Griffin. Yes, I seem to be. Where did that pumpkin come from? Yoo-hoo! Okay, here we go. Hello, rabbit. Oh, I'm glad you're here. Would you help me sort the vegetables from my garden? So the pumpkin was yours. You want to help sort the vegetables? Sure, I'll help. All right, so all you got to do is smack the right vegetables into the right spot. You don't even have to read the instructions. It's self-explanatory on here. Square to go to the left, circle to go to the right. Lettuce goes to the left, pumpkins go to the right. Or cabbages, not lettuce. What, cabbages? Okay, whatever. The green stuff. Now what's obnoxious is the fact yeah. that this goes on forever. Yeah. You can keep going and going and going and try to earn a high score. And the yeah. thing is, how can oh, you suck at this game? Ha. Now what's annoying here is Pooh likes to just run in the middle of the... Ha. Like, he never learned his lesson. He never learned ha. his lesson. But at this point, spam triangle and you'll yeah. smack everything where it's supposed to go regardless of what direction you may be aiming at. It's always going to do it the right way. So, the yeah. best thing to do here is actually just get to 30 and then screw up. <laughs> Plain and simple. Yeah. Hopefully... Yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah. There's three more. I know there's one thing that happens and here it comes. Avoid the carrots or at least as long as you can before that happens. But, seeing as I want this to be over, I'm just gonna let it go. Wow, I think it's gonna hit me. Wow, it hit me, but it didn't do much. All right, fruits, or vegetables, I mean. Go ahead. Have fun. Be gone. Ow! I got hit by a cabbage! Thank you for the help. Please take this, won't you? And you learn Cross Slash. So, Cloud plus Stop plus an attack card. Cloud teleports behind an enemy and uses Cross Slash. For those of you Cloud users, there you go. Great slight. But, once again, anything summon related, I'm never going to use it. Not once. Okay, now this one is time consuming. I wonder what these balloons are for. 
Okay, so... Instead of letting Boo... Boo. Instead of letting Pooh just float up and you smack bees around, you're actually flying with him and controlling all this. So, the point is, you press circle to go up, and you move, use the analog stick to move around, of course. Uh, if you hit branches or leaves or anything, bees, you immediately lose one of your balloons, and if you lose all three, you fall, you gotta start all over again. Now, if you want, you can go for 100%, you can get all the little honey balls just floating about, and it doesn't matter. You really... You don't have to get all of them, you really don't. Like, I, I went through this once to get them all just for the heck of doing it, and I guess really it's a high score thing. But, alright, you see, I missed that one. Normally I'd be a completionist and say, hey, I'm gonna go back and get it, but hey. Eventually you get to a part where you actually have to choose which path you go. So, alright, right here you gotta go up and around. Now you can go right or left, it doesn't matter. But I'm gonna go ahead and go left in case I'm stupid and I... Actually, no. I want it to go that way so I can actually speed run and if I get hit, I don't really care enough. But look, I'm already over halfway with the whole honey ball thing on the right side. So I'm gonna avoid going around and going all over the place to collect those. I'm just gonna go straight up. Collect this bundle right here. Oh, I thought that would be enough, actually. Oh well. Not quite. Just keep going, no biggie. Nah, I'll just keep going this way. Again, you don't need to collect all these, and normally I'm the completionist. I'm the one that says, hey, if you don't get everything, you suck and you shouldn't be playing the game. But here, it is so time consuming. Just grab everything and go. Alright, um. Well, grab as much as you need to and go. Why is this going down so much? Unless that's the height of the tree. Wait, that's just the height of the tree? Oh, this time I thought you actually needed to collect those things! What?! Well, um... Wow! You learn something new in your own LP every day! Are you alright, Pooh? Oh yes, Owl. I found it rather fun. Maybe you could use a balloon to look for your friends. Ho oh, ho! You might think so, young man. Uh-oh! You about to get edumacated! But serious problems arise when you arrive at your destination. Question mark? Once you find your friends, how do you get down to them? You stop pressing circle. You see, a balloon goes only where the wind blows, which is usually up. I beg to differ. Did you not just watch the minigame? Stupid owl. You're blind. What if you saw your friends, but the wind kept them just out of reach? You'd stop pressing circle, and you'd use the analog stick to move toward their general direction. Duh. I'd rather have to keep looking for my friends than find them and not be able to reach them. You've got a point. Except for the fact that everything was disproven by what we just did stupid owl I hate this I, I hate owl in this game I really do nothing against them in the regular show or movies but in here oh my god I stumble across some honey blah 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 that's the spirit poo blah 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 let's keep going thank you owl blah 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 tummy honey blah also Firaga burst Two fires and a gravity shoot a large fireball in the air and rain down small fireballs over a wide area. So, Firaga burst. Um, Firaga and a burst. Enough said, but I'm kind of more of a fan of Firaga going directly at somebody, hitting them for a lot of damage, and then just doing it again. So, that's what I'm going to keep doing. Alright, now this. If you thought the rabbit thing was annoying, here we go. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Say, how would you like to bounce with me? We don't even have to say yes or no. It just starts. Oh, wait. Never mind. Talk to him. Do you want to bounce with Tigger? Definitely! And I'm pretty sure you can just skip through all this. You don't actually oh, need to do all these mini games, but they're just to unlock things. So this is actually the shortest and the longest all in one for as far as worlds go. Now here you need to do 25 correct sequences, which is not bad at all. And honestly, if you remember the whole sequence, you can spam all the buttons until 
you've done the whole pattern and just let the whole thing go. You, you don't have to press it as soon as you land. Like, watch this. I just push all the buttons and I, I put the controller down on my lap. They're doing it all by themselves after I push all the buttons. So you're basically playing Simon with Tigger. And just like Simon, all he does is keep adding one. Well, not just one, but you get my point. He just kept adding to what was already started. He didn't start over an entirely new pattern. So if you remember the last pattern, you should be good. And you only got to do this 25 times and you can intentionally mess up on the last one and that'll be it. All right, so. Alright, so I'm only gonna get the first four and then I'm gonna screw up. I intentionally look, looked away to make sure that I don't get this right. Whoops, wait, what? I put. wait, I pushed next for- Either the button didn't register, or I really just clicked so fast that... Wow. But the most wonderful thing about Tigger is I'm the only one. Shut up! <laughs> okay, for your sake and mine, I went ahead and cut all that out, but... This one I can't possibly miss. It's back and forth twice, and then... Triangle. <laughs> New record. Shut up, game. And yes, I missed that one on purpose because now I'm at 25 and that's all I need. That's all I was concerned about. -hoo -hoo -hoo! Not bad at all. We were just trying to bounce like you, Tigger. I'm surprised you could keep up with me. Well, I can bounce with the best of them now. Is that so? Then let's see you do this. Whoa! Dude, we don't have a springy tail. That's not fair. What do you think of that? I could never. Aw, you don't have to do it like me. Bouncing is best when you do it your own way. Because I'm Tigger, and you're Sora. <gasps> he knows us! Ha! Ah! Tigger remembers us. My life is complete. My life is complete. Tigger, I think you dropped something. Oh, that? I found it on top of a tree when I was bouncing. You can have it, Sora. Kind of weighs me down when I'm about to. He remembers me, and he's giving me something. And you learn something with Bambi and two attack cards. Do we even have? I don't think I've even gotten a Bambi. Oh well. Someone related? Not using it. Okay, now. Main reason number two, besides going in order based on how I did it in Kingdom Hearts 1. Another reason that I wanted to do this world last was because I needed high jump and glide. And I wouldn't want to do this right before Hollow Bastion. That'd be so random. But, high jump, glide, item. And you get Spellbinder from this. Awesome. Alright, so, let's actually look at Spellbinder. So, its element is lightning instead of just physical, which is kind of random, but um, it was meant to be a magical keyblade, so, eh. Okay, uh, attack is C+, plus, recovery is A, so the element will really play against enemies that you're fighting, so I don't really like using this for the sheer fact that... The elements aren't really something you want to mess with against certain enemies, and you're going to be taking it out, stuff like that. Yeah, don't want to mess with that. Could be very good in certain situations, not very good in all situations, therefore, I don't want it. Sorry for anyone who actually likes using the Spellbinder in this game.
Now, I want to say this is the last area, but I'm not 100% sure. That's an awfully blustery hole. That's what nobody said? No idea. Alright, but Pooh, just follow me and get on this. Get on this. Pooh. Pooh. Oh, wait. I have to do it myself first. Okay. Oh, we just catch Pooh on the way down. Yeah, I actually completely forgot about this minigame. Collect the prizes while plunging from the sky. If you hit an obstacle, press triangle to pick up poo, or you won't be able to pick up the prizes. So basically, we're falling all the way down. That's all I gotta worry about. And we can roll! So, actually, this... Like, it came out way before, but... Uh, now that I've played the game, this reminds me of Dream Drop Distance. A lot. This is basically what you have to do in Dream Drop Distance to actually make it from uh, one world to the next. So, if that was an intentional reference or not is way beyond me, but hey, kind of cool that there's some similarity between the games. Even though it's a car based system, hey, there's a similarity with my favorite game in the series. I think. My, my top two favorites would be between Kingdom Hearts 2 and Kingdom Hearts 3D, but... I don't know. 2 is good because of the controls and mechanics. 3D is good to me because of the whole flow motion thing, mostly. I love the combos that you can do. Anyway, there's Rue. Hello there, Rue. What are you doing here? I was so busy looking for Tigger that I was blown away by the wind and fell down here. And you got stuck? No. I was waiting for Tigger. So we can ride the blustery wind together. Aww. So if Tigger rides the wind here, this is where I'll be. It sure will surprise Tigger, don't you think? But what if he doesn't fall here? Hmm, yes. If Tigger rides the wind, his bounce might bounce him even further away. Well, I was getting a little lonely and tired of waiting for him. Instead of waiting, why don't you see if we can find him? You're right, that's a great idea. Especially since we already found him. By the way, I found this in the shrubs. Why don't you take it? Mega Ether. Let's go ahead and check this out real quick. Okay, Ether. Quickly reloads reloadable magic cards. Mega Ether. Quickly reloads all magic cards and resets the reload counter. 47 CP, but hey, freaking worth. So worth it. And I've actually got almost 100 more CP to work with. Dang, I might as well go ahead and adjust my deck right now before I forget. <laughs> um, I'll go ahead and actually put in the arrow so I can start using that homing Blazara attack because that might be useful at some point. Um... I'll do it twice. I'll do it thrice? No, wait, 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 wait. I would, nah. No, I'll just leave it. And I can start using Blazaga after the Blazaras, just in case. Um, what else can I put in here? I need 31 or less. A six by... All right, there we go, that'll work. That's an extra Sonic Blade. All right, can I actually, yes, I can get up here, okay. Let's talk to Eeyore. Lost my tail again, it figures. Do you know where you lost it? Oh, yum, I found it. I knew if I just listened to my tummy, you would find me some honey. Probably upset the bees though. Taking their honey, that is. And Eeyore is right as usual. Um, so let's examine the hole. Do you want to get some honey? 
The bees frighten me. Right, okay. I would like some honey. And by I would like some honey, who would like some honey, and you've actually got to fight bees. We have 18 cards specifically for this fight. We are fighting freaking bees. They play cards as well, just wait. See, like, look at this. And you have, you have magic. And healing him actually does that. Heal. All right, so while that's going on, they can't really attack much. And we've got to kill a lot of bees. So we're actually going to reload. See what stocking does. Sliding dash? Are you serious? Sliding dash. I haven't used that in so long. Honey storm. Be gone, bees. I really didn't need to heal him, but oh well. And seriously, all you gotta do is knock out all the bees, and that's all you're doing. Alright, heal. Come on, don't attack him, don't attack him. Oh no, they're stinging poo! How dare you sting poo! Oh wow. I did a stock combo and only got a two. That is bad. Alright, be gone bees. Alright. Just spamming stocks and this is actually working. Sliding dash? Well, not this again. Oh, crap. Oh, poo, no, I'm sorry. Alright, ten more bees. Oh, dang, come on. These bees are too powerful. The bees! Um, sorry, Pooh, you're about to get her. Okay. At least that was it. Get off my Pooh Bear. He was about to... He was about to lose. Wow. Okay. Alright, and this played out a bit better than the original Channel Memories. Oh, bother my head. Well, much obliged, Pooh. I'm sure I'm obliged to you too, Eeyore, but, um, what for? Or for what? For running into that tree and getting my tail back from me. Oh, but I was just trying to get away from those bees. Just accept. Just say, uh, it was an. I don't even know what to say here. And keep up with Sora. Well, anyhow, you helped me, thanks. And I was just trying to get rid of the bees. It was an accident that we found your tail. An accident. It figures. Nobody would help me on purpose. But I'm still obliged. Thank you, Pooh and Sora. Well, I can't really say Eeyore remembered us because Pooh said our name. So, Eeyore, you don't count. Here's something for you. Hey, it's okay, Eeyore. It was just an accident. Just accept the freaking... Uh! I know, but this fell down along with my tail. It's the accidental part of my thank you. <laughs> Elixir! <laughs> Okay, um, Sora, this is when you shut up and accept the best gift you can possibly get. Elixir quickly reloads all attack and magic cards. Okay, 45. I'm going to put that before anything else. And it's a 45, so I need to get rid of... I might just have to get rid of the two air. Yep. I'm just going to get rid of the arrow cards and wait till I increase my CP to add them back. But, yeah, Elixir. There you go. Alright, now, there's one last thing you can do here, but I think Owl is just flying about. Oh, wait. Is he going in? Okay, there he goes. Come on, Pooh. Follow me. Wow, you were slow. I was pretty sure... Wait. There's nothing to do there? Unless that was just finding Owl in Kingdom Hearts 1. I could have sworn there was something to do here. I guess not. Must be, must be wrong. 
Okay. So that is it for 100 Acre Wood. It was actually a bit shorter than I thought. I don't know how long this video is dragged out, so maybe I'm going crazy. But, um... Yep. That will do it. I guess we can't go any farther. So, Pooh, wasn't it fun? Wasn't it more fun looking for friends together? Oh, yes, Sora, it was. And I'd like you to have this. Thank you for helping me. Whew. I've walked so far. I think I need a little rest. If only I had a honeypot to keep me company. Dot. 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 Well, I'd better be going. Where to? To look for my friends. Then I shall help you look for them too. Pooh, that's you 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 can't you can't Pooh, I'm sorry. That's okay, Pooh, you should stay here. You mean this is goodbye? You can't go to Castle Oblivion, you're a figment of my imagination. No way! I'll always know where to find you. Exclamation point. If I don't forget. The feels. Right in them. Right in the feels. Don't worry, Sora. You can count on me. Like one, two, three. I'll be there. Anybody that can tell me the song that I referenced, please um, put that in the comment section below and I will love you forever. Okay. Even if you forget Winnie the Pooh, I won't forget you. Thanks, Pooh. Oh, that was so heartwarming. And we finally get Bambi.